still in the November 2010 paper. This is question three, and it's about toffees. And this company makes toffees. Here's a little picture of you in case you didn't know what a bag of toffees looks like. And they um, take a sample of 11 bags. So when they make them, they just pick out 11 bags and they count the toffees in each bag. So we want to write down the mode. Okay, well, we can do that either by, by spotting it. If we count that 51 comes up one, two, three, four, five times, and 50 only comes up four times, it comes up more than the other numbers. So the mode must be 51, it's the one that comes up the most. Okay? Now we're going to work out the median. Now we've got to remember that median means the middle number, but only the middle number when we've put in order. When they're in order either from smallest to biggest or biggest to smallest. So let's rewrite it. So we've got some working out. So it says you must show your working. So you can't just count down the middle here and see that 43 is in the middle. No, we've got to put it in order. So 43 is the smallest. And then let's just cross it off. Then we've got 50 and we've got four of them. So we've got 50, 50, 50 and 50. Two, three, four of them. Then I've got 51, 51, 51, 51. So I've got five 51s. One, two, three, four, five. And then I've got a 52. Let's just check. I should have 11 bags. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Now let's just cross off, we're going to cross off from the top and the bottom and we want to work our way to the middle. So let's cross off two. Let's cross off another two. Now I'm only going to cross one of each off, otherwise I'm going to go too far. So I'll cross that one and I'm left with just one number in the middle. So that's the middle number, the median, must be 51 as well. You get one mark for putting them into order correctly and then one mark for finding the middle. Now we've got to find out the mean. Now the mean is when you add all the numbers up and you divide by how many there are. Okay, So it's the other average. We've done the mode average, the median average. So we've got to add them all up. So we can just tap these into our calculators. And that's, that's easy enough. You're just going to sit there and tap them in. Uh, and you do that and you find out that the total, you might want to, uh, if you've done it already, or if you want to pause the video and then do it, you add them all up and you get 550. So the mean is 550 divided by 11 and that comes out as exactly 50 so the mean calculation is 50 and that's worth three marks and i think that's nice and easy so you found one mark for getting the total one mark for trying to divide that total by 11 and the final mark for getting it correct okay so we've got the mode of 51 the median of 51 and the mean of 50. let's look at the next bit the company claims there are 50 toffees in a bag. Given a reason why this claim seems fair. Well, we know that the mode was 51, and the mean was... Uh, sorry, the mode was 51 and the median was 51, but when they calculated the mean, they calculated it as 50. So it seems fair because actually, the, well, when they did the calculation, all the averages came out as 50 or 51. So... Um, there are 50 toffees in a bag on average. So that's why it seems fair, because actually they did the calculation that came out as 50, so it seems like a fair thing to say. The problem is, though, that even though the mean is 50, that means that some might have 50, but some might have more, that's a bonus, but some might have less. So they're saying there are 50 toffees in every bag. They're not saying approximately 50 or an average 50. They're saying there's exactly 50. And that's not true because some, like not every bag is going to have, not every bag is going to have 50 in it. Not every bag will have 50 toffees. Some will have more. and some less. Okay, so 
It seems fair on one hand, because actually, yeah, they did the calculation, and on average there was 50, but the problem with the average means that you might have some that are more and some that are less. So, like, and in this case there was, there was one that was less than 43. So if you thought you were buying 50 toffees and you only got 43, you were unlucky and had that bag. Doesn't seem really fair, does it? So they haven't said approximately 50, they said there were exactly 50 in every bag. Now the company uses the first 11 bags produced each Monday to check the contents. Okay, so every Monday they take 11 bags, the first 11 bags produced to check them. And now we want to say two ways that we can improve that. Well, there's lots of different answers you can give for this. But the, but the idea is that um, you could you could take uh, bags and not just take them first thing on a Monday morning. So take bags produced at different points in the day, different times in the oops in the day so you might take one in the morning one the next hour one the next hour and you may take one every hour throughout the day okay because that might make a difference i don't know how they're produced but that's one way you could change okay the other way is that um you could take the sample every day you could take a sample every day Okay, so not just Monday. So look at taking the sample throughout the week, not just Monday. So looking at specifically within the day, you could also uh, you could take a bigger sample. That's something else. So you don't need all of these reasons. You only need two of them. I've just given you. So you could take more bags basically instead of just taking eleven. You could take eleven on Monday, eleven on Tuesday, eleven on Wednesday, eleven on Thursday, eleven on Friday. That will give you more bags overall. You could take 20 bags. Um, you don't want to take too many. You don't want to sample every bag because that's crazy. Because the whole point of a sample is just taking a few. But but you might want to take more than 11. Okay. So any ideas like this that you should try and improve the method. You only have to pick two of them.